What's going on guys? It's Kyle here and welcome back to another technology video. Yeah, I know, I haven't done one of these in a while. So, as you guys know, Terrarium TV has been officially shut down by the developer and I'm here to give you guys some replacements for Terrarium TV. So one of these, um, I'm showing you two today, one of them is actually a complete replica of Terrarium. And the other one is sort of like Terrarium but with a twist. Um, so first, I'm going to show you guys the one that um, everyone is talking about, and that is Cinema, where's that? Cinema Free, right there. Let's click on it, open it up. I'm not sure you guys what this is all about. So this is basically Turin TV. It has the same functions and everything, but it has a little twist. So as you can see, we already have a new version we can install, so let's go and just install that real quick. So as you can see, it opens just like this. Give you a change log, tells you what's new about it. Uh, let's click OK, and you can see it looks Similar, very, very similar to Terrarium TV with the way it looks. Um, very, very nice. Let's go to the top here. We can change our settings a little bit. We got TV shows, movies. You can go to your favorites. You can download. A real to bridge supported. The default player is using the cinema. We can just change out the MX player because MX player is king. Let's see what else we got here. We got subtitle language, and you can donate, share, check for updates. You can subscribe to their Facebook. So, pretty cool. But here we go. Um, here is the movies page. We have um, looks very similar to Terrarium and the fact that you can change from popular to top rated, the view count, the latest update, action, and all your genres. So that's kind of cool. Let's go and choose a new movie here. Let's go and choose um, choose Jurassic World: Fallen Kingdom. So you click on the movie, and this is what's going to look a little different um, uh, than Terrarium does. So as you can see here, we have a play button at the top, which will automatically play the first link that it finds. You can do that, or you can go to the bottom and shoot your link. You're gonna see you got trailer, you can got you got download, and this is where you're gonna see something interesting. It says view as to get the best quality. What this uh, clone basically does is instead of use instead of you having a limited clone, uh, unlimited plays, you have to actually watch ads because they give you 500 free ones. You actually get 500 free plays. Um, but, you know, as you get used you play your links, you do lose your, um, plays. So, in order to get plays, you just watch ads. But if you don't want to watch ads, you can just, you know, delete the app and reinstall the app. But let's go to the bottom here and check out our links. You can see here we got some links to choose from. Look at that. Good amount of links here. So, let's just go and choose a link here to show you that it does play. Um, let's look here. Let's do... Let's do the server crawler one. This looks like an interesting one. Yeah, it's 1.14 gigs, so it's a pretty big file, so it should be a pretty good um, quality link. And there we go, guys. There's the movie playing in great quality. And since it is MX player, we can skip ahead without um, any problems. Just like that. And there we have it, guys. Playing the movie for us. Very nice. Let's back that out. Um, but yeah. That's how that works. Let's go to the TV shows and show you how that goes. So, oh, that's movies. Whoops. Let's go to TV shows here. So here's TV shows. You got your latest and greatest TV shows, your popular TV shows. Very nice. Uh, let's say you want to watch one. Let's go and choose Family Guy. Very nice. So you got all of, all the seasons of Family Guy here. So let's say, let's just pick a, a random season. Uh, let's go season 12. Um, once you see that the box is gray, that means it's highlighted, so once you see the highlight, you click on it, and now you have all your episodes. The only thing about this one that's going to suck is you do not get a description of the episode, it just gives you the name, it just gives you a number. So let's go and pick episode 6, and uh, so this one will take a few seconds, and there we go. Now we're in the little um, area where you can choose your, uh, your server, your link, what have you. So you can see you got Rapid Video, Gorilla Vid, um... Let's go wait some, we can wait for some more here. So there we go, they're all popping up. So let's just pick a random one, like the first one. That's a 1080, let's see if that works. And there you have it. It's playing the episode for you, very nice, very quick, to the point. So that's how that works. So that's pretty much the whole app. It's very simple, it's very quick, it gets to the point. Um, like I said, it's a very um, standard Terrarium TV clone without the bugs or without the viruses or anything though. So the next one and the last one I'm going to show you guys is one that is literally identical to Terrarium. It's, I think it uses the same engine of a Terrarium or something like that, but it is called Red, or Movie Box Red, it's called, there it is right here. Um, 
Let's just look on it, and it just gives you a little screen right here that says Movie Box Red. Movie Play Red, whatever. Opens up, and literally looks identical to Terrarium TV. So let's give it a second. Boom. Literally looks identical to Terrarium TV. Um, same layout, same sections, you got trending, these are your TV shows here. Um, so let's just pick a TV show, let's pick on American Horror Story. You got all your seasons, let's say you want to watch the latest season, so that's season 8. Alright, there's the first episode, we just click on it, click on the play button, so it's literally like you're using Terrarium TV again, it's super cool. And it's not like that patch terrain thing that they kept going around where, where it gave you viruses and stuff. This is a completely clean slate. Someone decided to use the same engine as Terrarium and make their own app, which is very cool. They name it their own thing. Let's just go pick this uh, random link. It even has the same kind of um, layout to the play and stuff. So let's click on play. Let's see if this loads. And there we have it. It's playing the episode. It's the first episode of season 8. Very cool. And same goes for movies, of course. Uh, but this, there is ads on this one, unfortunately. Um, but, you know, it's, it's a small price to play, uh, pay for some great um, quality selections and stuff. So let's go over here and click on Movies. And there you have it. There's your movies. Very simple. You can just click on Movie, The Purge, Anarchy. Um, you can say Don't Show Again. Okay, yeah, yeah. It gives you the tomato meter, the IMDb rating. If you're ready to watch your movie, though, you just click on the Play button on your remote. We wait for our links to populate. There we go, we got a link right there. It's HD. The only thing about Terrarium is that, you know, Terrarium was already having its issues like towards the end of its run, so this might not be the best choice for you, but if you do like it, I would recommend getting it, but we got a rapid video link here. Let's see if this plays. I personally like cinema a little bit better because um, it incorporates ads in a good way where you have to just, you, you know, where you can actually watch an ad to get more plays and you can watch more movies and TV shows and you know, stuff like that. So I like the way they incorporate ads into that app more than this because this is just, you know, annoying. But there you go, there's the movie. Very nice. Uh, back out of that so we don't get copyright striked. And there we go, guys. It's very simple. We can go to the settings and do the same thing you, you could have done, like, back in the day in Terrarium. So there you go, XO. You can change it from MX to VLC to what have you. All the old um, settings from Terrarium are in here, including Real Debrid and stuff. So... Very, very cool. Alright, so now that you've seen the apps, I'm going to show you guys how to get them. So the first thing you got to do is go over to your settings. So just do this, go to your settings, over to device, go down to developer options, and make sure ADB debugging and apps for unknown sources are both turned on. We move over to our search button. Let's search up downloader. It's pretty simple, just down. And that should come up, there it is, DOW came up and then downloader. So uh, there's the app right there. Download it, install it, and we can just open it up, and I'll show you guys what website you gotta go to. So there's the uh, the website. It's k p o r t e dot wixsite dot com forward slash files. That is it. That is the link you wanna go to. Uh, I'm gonna open it up. I just named it KP Store because um, this is actually Kevin Porteous' uh, website. You probably check him out. His name is Kevin Porteous on YouTube. Look him up. I'll put them in the description box. You want to check them out. He does the same uh, content as I do. So let's click on that. And now we're in his website. So let's go scroll down until we see uh, Amazon Fire, Android Movies, TV Shows. So in here we got all kinds of different applications uh, related to movies and TV shows. But the one we're looking for is Cinema. There it is, Cinema 1.2.3, ad free. And then um, go a little bit more down. And there's Movie Box Red. So just click on that. Um, and then you get sent to his little uh, download site. You click on the download button, and then you do your normal stuff. So there it is. That is how you get it. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and um, comment whatever you want. Um, I don't really care. Uh, hope you guys have a great day. And uh, this has been Inskyle. Peace out.